Happy Friday, everyone. I'm Mike Moliterno. Welcome to the TGIF Report. Well, this was a big week for me because this week I ate at an actual restaurant for the first time in what feels like forever. And I made sure it was a good one. Three solid tacos from Casa de Tacos in Boardman. I also ate most of my wife's burrito, so I certainly made the most of it. But it got me thinking, oh no, I think I've woken the woke monster. My reckless statement has awoken the woke monster from his slumber, which I'm afraid is always a light one. Oh, that it should be the carelessness of one man should find such folly on all of humanity. Oh, it's okay, everybody stay calm. I know what to do. Obviously, the coronavirus is still out there. It still poses a threat, particularly to people who are 55 and older and have underlying health conditions. And obviously, I'm not saying that people need to go out to a restaurant or have to go out to a restaurant. Why would I say that? I'm simply saying that restaurants are open and that people should be allowed to go to a restaurant if they feel safe and if they want to and if they feel comfortable. And obviously, the restaurant and the patrons should all practice caution and follow the guidelines of all of our public health officials. We need to just stay calm and remain cautious. Ah, the woke monster sleeps again. Good. So as I was saying, I ate at a restaurant and it got me thinking about all of the great food traditions in our area that I have taken for granted. And unfortunately, one of them, the pierogies at St. Stanislaw Church in Youngstown went away during the lockdown. So I thought today we would play a video produced by our very own Maggie Young a couple of years ago. And while you're watching, please remember that we need to continue to support all of our favorite locally owned restaurants. So if you are able and if you are comfortable, put it on your calendar and get some food from one of our great locally owned restaurants restaurants and of course do it safely. Now enjoy this video of the legendary and much missed St. Stanislaw pierogies from Youngstown. Basically pierogi is a Slavic uh, type of food that everybody enjoys and it's just like a heartwarming food. We make um, potato which is a potato and cheese and then a sauerkraut and a cottage cheese which is a slightly sweeter mixture. We usually get the potato. And potato. Oh easy potato. I waver between potato and sauerkraut. My favorite is the potato and kraut. I usually get all three but usually I, I've been getting the sauerkraut because I'm doing a low carb thing. I like them all. You know it's one of those foods that when the weather's bad you just want to eat and we get a large crowd. We always think when the weather's bad we're not going to have anyone and those are our busiest days. And it's a longer process than one might think. We start on Tuesdays and we have a crew that comes in and actually peels potatoes and we do an average of two to 250 pounds, 250 pounds. Wednesday they actually cook the potatoes and mash them up and they make little balls for us to put into the pierogi. Thursday we come in and you can see we pinch them. Right here we have processing the dough. John over here is making it into balls so that it can go through our machine. Don here is the one who does the dough for us. He's also the one on Tuesdays that peels the potatoes. And then we have Frank who's cutting them out into the circles. And those are what we use to put the filling into a pinch. Have all of our volunteers who are actually taking our filling, putting it into the little plotsky, which we call our little rounds, and they pinch it closed to make the pierogi. Right now we're on the potatoes. Oh, we've been doing it for years, these ladies, and they just got it down path on how to make that dough so good. They're the best. They're the best. I mean, they're homemade. We, we make the plotsky homemade, and we, we use real potatoes for the potato plotskis, and uh, the sauerkraut is just grand. I mean, it's out of this world. This is our kitchen, and this is where we cook. Our cooks put them in the boiling water, put them immediately after they're boiled into a ice bath and that stops the cooking process. And then after that, they take them out and then we put them in large tubs where we refrigerate them. And Friday, we sell them. 317 and 320. We serve lunches here from 11 to 1 on Fridays. And our lunch crowds average from 100 to 130 people. And then we have a lot of people who just come in and take them home. 
They've been selling pierogies at St. Stanislaus ever since the 1980s when Father Naroda came to the church. And he decided that uh, our, ch our church just needed something to get the people together, uh, to socialize a little bit. We started basically selling to our parishioners, and then word got out how delicious they were. <laughs> and everyone started coming in, and it just went from there, and it's been going for 37 years. We can use more help because we can't sell enough of these pierogies. But if anybody wants to volunteer, we're always welcome to have some people here. A lot of these people that volunteer, we have different age groups. We have people that are into their 90s. On our Wednesday nights, we have like some 12 year olds that really? help out. The people are wonderful. You make a lot of friends, you socialize, you have a good time while you're talking and pinching, and it just works. It's a really nice hobby to have. Pierogi orders can be placed Thursday mornings by calling the kitchen at 330 747 3024. It's best to order Thursday mornings because we do tend to sell out. And if you could call Friday morning also, but your chances are a little slimmer of being able to get an order in then. We got a Cleveland and Akron calling every once in a while because there's how good they are. I mean, I'm, I'm impressed how much they are. You'll have to try one and you'll see what I mean. 717 Credit Union. Business services designed to meet your daily needs. Commercial loans, business deposits, merchant and payroll services. 717 Credit Union. It's knowing you were treated right every time.